Hey guys, Eddie here of Carfight Belfast, and I'm back with another deck profile. This time it is for my V-Series Risers. So yeah, another Nova Grappler deck. <laughs> Despite the fact, back when I started playing Vanguard, I did not play Nova Grapplers much. I have, I had played Risers, um, right through up until up until the legion arc and then after that i just stopped playing nova crawlers so and then all of a sudden i have in these here for the v series i have risers snai on top of beast deities um but for this deck it's not as cr this deck is not as critical heavy as the beast deities so this one has a nice range, different variety of triggers running in it. Um, as you'll see when I get into the profile. Also, this deck can spam Excel circles like no tomorrow. Uh, a lot more than what my Beast Deities can. The only difference being is that with Beast Deities, they... Obviously, have effects that can allow them to restand. Whereas this just puts out a ton of bodies on board. Uh, to the point where my uh, my seven Excel circles that I showed off in my uh, Beast Deity deck, which I also use for this deck as well. Uh, those seven's not enough. <laughs> To the, it's actually getting to the point where I think I'm going to need more Excel circles. But without further ado, I've rambled on enough. Let's just get into the profile. And yes, I am using a, bla a Blau Cooker Sieve for the starting Vanguard. Because they're both Nova Grapplers, so why the heck not? So, starting Vanguard, Battle Riser. Uh, pretty iconic starting card for Nova, for Nova Grapplers. Uh, especially during the original series when it was a stand trigger and was also one of the first four runners, I think, um, to be played alongside Lozenge Megas, which was also a trigger, which was a heal trigger for Oracle Think Tank, which should also be used as a starting Vanguard. But they had effects to put them back into deck. But it's this effect is pretty self-explanatory. When you go second, draw a card. So, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. So... First off, for triggers, four copies of Turbo Riser. So, first Riser trigger, actually the only Riser trigger of this deck, uh, unlike my uh, older Risers that had more diverse range of triggers um, that are specifically Risers, uh, he's, again, just pretty self-explanatory. Self he's just a front trigger, 10,000 power to the front row, 15,000 shield, so yeah. Pretty self explanatory trigger. So let's pop those there. The next for the heal trigger, uh, four copies of on a second, or in a second. Then for the crits, four copies of red lightning. This is the only critical trigger in the entire deck. So as I said in the opening, it is not, this deck's not as true. Uh, damage heavy. And then for the last of the triggers, four copies of Twin Blader. So I decided to use Twin Blade, uh, the Twin Blader Sentinel for this one. Unlike with the um, Beast Deities, which runs the 30,000 Shield Sentinel, which is also a critical trigger. Um, the Twin Blader was used by Kamumi quite regularly. So I figured, why not stick to the spirit of the way the deck used to play back in the day and have Twin Blader. Mind you, I'm used to Twin Blader being a grade one, not a grade zero draw trigger. But for, I, but for accuracy towards Kamui, I felt it had to be put in here. Now, I would normally go into the grade ones now, but for those who have played risers, 
or any new overgrowth bridge deck in general will know that this deck is not complete with like four copies of Cat Butler. Back in the day, with the original rise, my original risers, I abused the life out of Cat Butler because it worked with the Legion. But yeah, for those that don't know what Cat Butler does, um, at the end of your Vanguard's battle attack and it didn't hit, you can Soul Blast one and retire, retire him. And then choose one of your units. It gets plus 2,000 power until on a turn. And if you have grade 2 Vanguard, stand it. So, yeah. This works for your grade 1s as well. Because it does say grade 2 or less. So you could re so you can restand your grade uh, 1 Vanguard. Your grade 2 grid Vanguard. Uh, perform an R drive check. And just get in as much damage as you can. If your opponent does not have enough cards in hand to guard. So, for the Grade 1s, start off with four copies of Riser Custom. This card. I didn't know about his effects until I got told about them, which made me want to build this deck. A friend of mine, who is also on my Digimon team, told me about this Riser Custom. The big thing is with his top effect, which is an active effect. Um, once, per, once a turn, place a card from your hand to the soul. This unit can attack even on your first turn. If you are first and you have this in hand, not only do you get to not only do you get your draw off Battle Riser. But you also get to attack with this. And deal one damage. Now mind you. He does get minus, minus one drive. So you're not performing any drive checks with this. With this, But honestly. That's fine. And then his other effect is. When another rear guard in the same column as this stands. Stand, it, this may stand. So you can choose to stand this unit. Again. Or you can leave him at rest. Entirely up to yourself. But, honestly, with the way this deck works, I say just stand him back up. Next, I'm running four copies of Jet Riser. Jet Riser is definitely a unit you want to have behind your Vanguard. Because he has the effect that when another unit is placed... When our rear guard is placed, he gets plus 3,000 power until the end of turn. Cameron does not want to focus. Um, so, yeah. You place them down first and then start spamming the rest of your rear guards. If you place down at least another four, he's going up at least another 12,000 power. So, he's hitting for, so he can hit for 19. More if you get Excel circles and if your hand is big enough. I think at one point in uh, in a friendly against my uh, my friend Loomis, uh, I got this one, the one behind my Vanguard. I got that up to what thirteen thousand, I think, at one point, and that on top of a grade three is nuts. So yeah, deals a lot of damage. Well, a lot of it can lead towards a lot of damage. <laughs> Next, two copies of Transriser. So, uh, this deck, it, with this card, it allows you to counter charge. Um, when, it, if it when it boosts, you have to Soul Blast 2. And then, if the attack target is a Vanguard, this unit gets plus 3,000. So, essentially, if this, if this in the rear guard is boosting an attack on the Vanguard... It's a, an 11k boost instead of an 8. And then you can Soul Blast 2 to counter charge 1. So you can do your counter blast more. But at the risk of Soul Blasting 2. Which I'm not really big on doing. Which is why I only run 2. Uh, because 
I don't want to risk soul blasting my grade two, and I will get to why later on in this profile. And then the last for the last in card card in the grade one slot is four copies of uh La Triara La Tia Riser, sorry, La Tia Riser. Yeah. ADHD. Dyslexia. It's a pain. <laughs> um so yeah. When they, whenever he's placed in the on the Vanguard Circle, I you get to call a battle riser from your soul. Which is again why I'm not too big on the trans riser. And then his act skill is kind of plus one and put a rear guard into your soul. Search your deck for up to one card with riser in its card name and grade equal to the card you put into your soul for this card's cost plus one grade. Call it the rear guard and shuffle your deck. So it's pretty much a searcher. Uh, so if you put in, say, the battle riser. Uh, you can search for a grade one. If you put in a grade one, you get a grade two, so on and so forth. Or uh, if you put in a grade two, you get a grade three. So yeah, unfortunately, it would be nice if this deck had any grade fours it could play, but at this point, it doesn't. So yeah. So that's it for the grade ones. Now to get on to the grade twos. So first off. Four copies of High Powered Riser Custom. So, the fact that I'm running the Riser Custom for Grade Ones, I had to run the Riser, the High Powered Riser Custom for Grade Twos because I love this ride line. I, I love this ride line back in the day. So, one place you may call Battle Riser from your soul uh, to the same column as this unit. So, if it's a Vanguard or Rear Guard, you can just call your Battle Riser. And then when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Counterboss 1, I put a Battle Riser from your rear guard into your soul and stand one of your other rear guards. So, pretty self explanatory. It does involve you having this side in the battle in one of your rear guards, but seeing as there's two cards here that can call him from the soul, it's not very hard to do. And then he gets the, and then um, when his attack hits, after you say your battle riser is boosted, put battle riser back into the soul, and then stand a different rear, stand one of your rears to get another attack in, which can then also include your excel circle. Next up is three copies of refilling. Riser. Now this deck, this card is only in the deck because the grade two that is supposed to be here right now, I'm having a very hard time getting my hands on because it's either out of stock of online stores I look at, or it's too pricey at this point. I here in the UK, it is the card I'm I'm referring to, trying to get is a bit of a pain to try and get hold of. But we'll get back to refill riser, refilling riser. So uh, states when it attacks, one of your rear guards gets plus five thousand until end of turn. Sorry, plus three thousand until end of turn. Yeah. And then if this unit is at rest, it gets five thousand instead of three. So yeah, give something. So you can give someone 3,000 or give it 5, depending on what way it is, whether it's at rest or stand. Now for the card that I'm having trouble getting my hands on. This, the one I'm sure is Ultimate Riser Dual Flare. This card is a pain to get hold of right now. This one, I pulled it from a booster pack because my local card shop... Were able to, was able to get in the booster set this is from, uh, which is, I think, one of the clan collections uh, for V-Series. So, thank you to Dragon Scales Card Gaming in Lisburn for getting Vanguard in so I could get this. Um, but, yeah, this card, 
I absolutely love this card, and I would have this at four if I could, if I had four. So during your turn, if you have no standing front row rear guards, he gets plus three thousand for each of your opponent's vanguard grades. This this card as a vanguard is nuts because if you're second and your opponent's already on grade three, say, and you're stuck in grade on a grade two. He's getting, he's doubling basically his power. He's a 9,000 power. And then he's gaining 9 because your opponent's grade 3. So 3, 6, 9. And then, yeah, it's just swinging crazy. Uh, especially if you have the Jet Riser, which is boosted itself. You're hitting for big numbers with this. And then at the end of the battle, this unit boosted. Put a put this unit into the soul. Uh, choose one of your vanguards. It gets plus 5,000 until the end of the turn. And if you have no phase up card and then if you have no face of cards in your damage zone you get the counter charge when you put this in soul uh this card is so good especially once i get into the grade threes and the reason i'm saying this is so good is because of this three copies of ultimate riser mega flare this i am going to bump up to four once I get my hands on on my fourth cop, once I get my hands on a fourth copy, uh, because I feel that this this is the main riser you want to go into. As I have found out, a lot more than perfect riser. Uh, the old perfect riser was absolutely brilliant. Um, but I will get into the newer one in a moment. But with this one, so obviously imagine your gift Excel. Uh, at the end of the battle, your rear guard with Riser in its name attack, counterblast to rest this unit and stand that unit and this unit. As long as you have counterblast and he is at stand, you can keep standing your rear guards. You can do this effect twice. Maximum. The fact that you can get in so many attacks just without top effect is crazy but the main reason i love this card is this effect at the end of the battle this unit attacked if you have no standing front row rear guards including excel circles um choose a grade two riser from your soul and ride it as stand this is where this comes in you attack with this, you've no standing front rows, superior ride from the soul into this, swing, then at the end of the turn, you go ride back on top, ride this back on top, but because it's acting as another ride, it's acting as a fresh grade three, the Excel, the Excel triggers off again. This one card can spam two Excel circles a turn. That's nuts. Well, the first turn on its first turn, it, it spams out two, and then every turn after that, it's another one, unless you write on top of, unless you write in our copy. <laughs> but yeah, this is a crazy card, and I love it, and I definitely want to get a fourth copy of this because of how well it plays. Then finally, to round off the deck is. Four copies of Perfect Riser. So, back when I was building the deck, I wasn't overly, I didn't overly know about this effect to Superior Ride from Soul. And I wanted to go with this as the main grade three because I always remember the older, how good the old Perfect Riser was, and I thought the new one would do the same. And. Yes, this one is an SVR. I got this in a trade for Yu-Gi-Oh uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all of all trades. Um, it was part of a Yu-Gi-Oh trade actually. <laughs> I was getting Yu-Gi-Oh cards of someone, and then they threw this in because they didn't want it. So that so when it attack, counter blast two, and stand two of your rear guards in the front row. Again, stands rear guards. Stands rear guards. Stands our rear guard. Can you see a pattern here with this deck? 
And then the other effect is if this attack hits, sorry, when it hit, when it attacks hits that, getting tongue tied now. Uh, if you have a card with riser and its card name in your soul, counter charge one, and then one of your units gets plus five thousand until end of turn. So you swing it with him. It hits, giving our units five thousand. Another standing rear, one of your standing rears, five thousand power. On say on top of your other trigger trigger effects as well. So yeah, crazy. Um, so yeah, that is that for the main deck, and then obviously, like I said, I am running my seven Excel circles. That are from my Beast Deity deck. Because um, these are the only Excels I own. And as I've said. <laughs> this deck is just. It spams these out too quick. <laughs> oh, I think a, I think at one point. When I was. When I had a car fight against my. Again. When I had it against my friend Loomis. Um, I had what. Four Excel circles. In, in play against eradicators of all things V series eradicators so yeah not exactly a good idea to have so many excels but hey ho but yeah that is it for the profile um again if you want to see my Older Battle Riser deck, um, I will do a profile on it. It's not the greatest build, um, but it did what it needed to um, during the Legion format. So, I was happy enough with it. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Um... I will hopefully be getting. I will hopefully be doing a Digimon deck profile soon. Um, because that is the other. That is another card game. I, like I say, I play. Um, and if you, and if anyone wants, I do have some Yu-Gi-Oh decks that I could do profiles on as well. Um, I have three in particular, three specific decks I could do profiles on. If you just want to see them, so there would be Galaxy Eyes, um, a Utopia deck, and Omni, what's called Omni Heroes. Um, I absolutely love my Omni Heroes. It's my it's my favorite deck. Um, but yeah, if you have any uh, any feedback that you want to give, um, just leave them down in the comments. Uh, they are always appreciated. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. And remember, stand up the Vanguard.